Hello everyone, I am Kavita K. Chandrasegaran, the finalist of Miss and Mrs. India Worldwide Malaysia 2018. Uh, hi Kavita, tell Hello. us tell us a little bit more about yourself. I am an admin firm accountant executive and also um, I am a person who loves to travel and also I am a Foodie, yeah. foodie and traveller. Yes. Where have you travelled to? I've travelled to uh, Singapore, Thailand, India, Pakistan, and also I'm about to finish Malaysia, just Semenanjung Dan and Sabah Sarawak. So, what's the best uh, best things you have seen during your travels? Travels, um, nature is so beautiful. There's no words to describe about nature. Nature is just at its best, and whenever we go to places like that, we feel so calm and so much peaceful, you know, no matter how much stress we have, it absolutely feels so calm, and it's just too beautiful, it's absolutely beautiful. So you love nature? Yes. And you love food? Yes. And what's the best thing you've yeah. eaten so far? If you talk about food, the only place that I always want to go is Penang, because that's a food paradise, you see. So, I always travel to Penang if, let's say, if I have a long holiday, and I don't have much time to go to Europe or other countries. So I will go to Penang because that's where you can get a lot of nice food, delicious food, and also the beach there is absolutely stunning. Um, since you travel and do food, are you a blogger as well? Do you blog about your travels and your food? Not really. I'm not. I do blog, but I don't post it out. So I just keep it to myself. I Snapchat a lot, yeah. You Snapchat a lot, yeah. Okay. Snapchat a lot. Okay, you, you've been in this journey for quite some time now, yes, this yes, pageant yes. journey. Tell us about your pageant journey so far. Um, it was a wonderful journey. Thank you so much. I would like to say to our Mr. Yogan, our chairman, and also our national director, Mr. Mr. Thank you very, very much for giving me this opportunity to be in this journey. It's a wonderful journey and also to my stylist, Mr. Yoga, for teaching me a lot of things. Makeup, hairdo, the right proper way to do makeup and hairdo and also to walk, catwalk and so many things they have taught me. Thank you very much. And it's been a wonderful journey because I've met a lot of girls. All of them are beautiful in their own way, you know. And they're just so sweet and you got to learn a lot of things from them. Some things that I don't know, I get to know through them. So it's just wonderful. What made you decide to join uh, a patient? Especially this one, Miss India, Worldwide Malaysia. It was actually, um, I saw the online application was in Facebook. And I was thinking about it. Then I asked my mom, should I go for it? Then my mom said, if you really have the passion, if you really have believe in yourself, why not? So, and I'm here. Uh, so, um, the best memories you had so far in your journeys? I've made good friends here and we are going a lot of places, especially the yacht. That's a memorable one. The yacht trip was a memorable one. And I don't know, we were all just having fun. People will be thinking that pageant is very serious. Yes, at times it's serious, but then it's a lot of fun too. So, the biggest challenge so far? Biggest challenge. Um, to learn the catwalk. And I'm not a person who like always makeup. Actually, I don't like makeup. Actually, to be very honest, I'm a person that I don't like to wear makeup. So most of the time, if I go out, I'm just wear things. But then through this pageant, I got to learn how to do proper makeup and hair and all that. So that's a bit challenging because most of the girls know how to do makeup. So that's challenging for me and also to do proper catwalk and dressing. Yes, thank you so much, Yoga. Actually, that's me a lot. Yeah. Um, to be confident, I, I just want to add, um, some people have stage fright, so I have a bit, I get, when I don't have stage fright, but when I, let's say, I'm going on the stage now, for the one, the five to ten seconds, I feel like, oh my god, oh my god, but then after that, I'm okay, I think oh, alright, but then, to this pattern, I got to learn that you have to step out and be confident, that's why, so. So would you recommend pageants to other contestants, yes, other course. hopefuls? Yes, of course. To the girls out there who want yeah. to join in this Miss and Mrs. India Women Mission, please, please come because you can't learn. You will learn a lot of things, trust me, a lot. So what are the expectations for yourself in this pageant? Um, to be a better woman. Um, in what way I would say is um, to, to know myself, to learn myself. That 
am I a big patient girl? Am I angry? Because you see, there's a lot of girls, so everybody will be thinking that you will be having cat fights and all that, you know. But how to handle certain people, you know? Sometimes they give short period of time to do this thing and that thing. So how do time management and all that? There's a lot of things I've learned, and I've changed myself to that, you know. To Compromise to learn how to manage my time and my schedule with work and also pageant and all my weekends is uh, I have to spend time with pageant girls. So I've learned how to manage everything and also I've learned how to discipline myself, especially. <laughs> so yeah. So what have you discovered about yourself? Mm, that I'm confident because all this while I was thinking that I didn't get the right platform. <coughs> <coughs> so, pageant is the only platform I got. I got an opportunity now to like show people that I can do this. I can do this. Not only that I used to, I do hosting and also I'm a dancer. But I want to know that people that I can do pageantry also. And I have the confidence now. Yes, I have the confidence. Okay. Uh, any message for your family, friends and your supporters? Yes, of course. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for supporting me throughout this journey, my family, my friends, everybody, all my Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you.